Welcome to another in the episode of Sunday Spirit presented by directors and guests of the Daughters of Sheba Foundation. My Sunday Spirit topic today is influenced by a story I read regarding grammar winning artist Pink. Pink reported that as she took her six year old daughter to school, her daughter declared that she is the ugliest girl she knows. Quite taken aback, she immediately went into lioness mode, went home and made a PowerPoint presentation, which she drew reference to some of the great artists like herself. Whilst reinforcing their greatness, she emphasized that these artists, like herself, did not change how they looked did not wear what people expected them to wear, did not say or speak in the manner that people expect them to speak or what to say, but they used their talents, they used, they mastered their craft, and they created their own excellent niches. At the end of that conversation, Pink reinforced the need for her daughter, even at age six, to accept who she is and the need to take a gravel and the shell and create a pearl. Let me repeat for emphasis. Take a gravel and a shell and create a pearl. Don't think for one minute that our six-year-old selves will not understand what that instruction is. Of course you do. In other words, embrace your authenticity. Embracing authenticity also requires a willingness to confront and transcend the masks we often wear to conform to societal expectations or gain approval from others. These masks, though they may offer a sense of safety or belonging, ultimately serve to obscure your true selves and inhibit genuine connection with others. By peeling back the layers of pretense and embracing your vulnerabilities, we create space for authentic expression and meaningful relationships grounded in honesty and trust. Furthermore, accepting and being true to yourself fosters a deep sense of inner peace. Yes, inner peace and fulfillment. When we align our actions and choices and relationships with our true values and desires, we experience a profound sense of harmony within ourselves. In life, challenges often present themselves as the rough gravel and sharp-edged shells scattered along our pathways that we tread. These obstacles though daunting at first glance, hold within them the potential for our transformation and growth. They serve as the raw materials from which we can create our own pearls of wisdom, resilience, and success. This metaphorical journey of turning adversity into opportunity encapsulates the essence of the phrase, get your gravel and shell and create a pearl. 
even with external expectations and societal pressures. The journey of self-acceptance and authenticity is a profound and transformative one. Yes, to accept and be true to yourself requires courage, vulnerabilities, and a willingness to embrace your true essence despite the judgments and perceptions of others. At the core of accepting and being true to yourself lies the fundamental recognition of your unique identity, yeah. your values, and yes, your aspirations. This entails an honest discovery of your strengths, your weaknesses, your passions, your beliefs, and free from the influence of external validation which we spend so much time, so much effort trying to hone. It is not normal. Being true to yourself is an acknowledgement of the inherent worth and dignity of your being, regardless of how it may align with the conventional standards of success or beauty. Pink did highlight to her daughter that without changing the way she looked, without being influenced by how she was perceived by society or the people in her industry, she's able to master her craft, winning numerous industry awards and selling out stadiums and reaping her own flowers, reaping her flowers. Just like a pearl begins its journey as an irritant lodged within the soft tissue of an oyster, our challenges can initially seem burdensome and discomforting. Whether it be personal setbacks, professional hurdles, or societal pressures, these gravel-like obstacles can weigh you down. It can weigh heavily on our spirits and tests our resolve. However, it is precisely in confronting and embracing these challenges that we discover our inner strength and resilience. The process of transforming gravel and shell into a pearl requires patience, perseverance, and a willingness to endure some discomfort. Similarly, our growth and our overcoming obstacles in life demands a steadfast commitment of and self-improvement. Instead of shying away from adversity, we must confront it head on, recognizing that it is through struggle that we cultivate cultivate resilience and fortitude. Moreover, just as an oyster secretes layers of protective encasement, which allows the formation of a lustrous pearl, we too have the capacity to layer our experiences with wisdom, insight, and personal growth. Every setback we encounter offers an opportunity for introspection and learning. Did we do that this way? What could we have done differently? We can transform our challenges into stepping stones towards success. The beauty of a pearl is always so attractive. So is the beauty of success which encapsulates our stories of resilience and transformation. In conclusion, getting your gravel and shell and creating a pearl serves as a relevant reminder that adversity is not to be feared, but embraced, embraced as an opportunity for growth, just as the Oyster transforms its hardships into something of beauty and value, so too can we harness the challenges we face to cultivate resilience, wisdom, and personal fulfillment. 
by embracing the journey of transformation, let us turn life's obstacles to pearls of enduring strength and beauty. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. Namaste. Thank you.